Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings, Martha Messenger. Woo, let's get it, let's go. I wanted to make this video on my way back home from the gym, but I was like, nah, I gotta, I gotta be focused because I'm gonna go in, guys. I'm gonna talk about demons, what God showed me about demons and my experience with dealing with them. And when I say dealing with them, a spirit that's working through someone, okay? My experience, with, and this is how it works, guys, okay? Every time, like I just have um, a friend who I just met and he started believing in God, okay? And before he wasn't a believer, and now all of a sudden, like he's getting attacked. He's getting attacked by other demons. And what these demons try to do, guys, there's two things demons want from you, okay? They want your attention, that's one, or they want your reaction because that's all a form of energy, okay? And when you feed into these demons, when you give these demons what they want, the food, the food they're lusting after, that attention, the reaction, okay? You're feeding that demon inside them for them to continue attacking you. So you must be wise. And understand to keep it moving. The Bible says when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. I can speak about my testimony. When I first gave my life to God, I was getting attacked in my own household. The Bible says a man's enemies will be in his own household. So my own family was attacking me. Okay, I didn't know what was happening. Didn't have any wisdom. Didn't have any understanding. But it's just like, I'm doing the right thing and you know these people are being used to attack my faith like I'm doing the wrong thing you know because Satan doesn't want you to leave the world Satan wants you to hold on to the things of this world to love what he has to offer you and once you no longer like nah I'm not I don't I don't care no more okay you become less vain um, you, you have a heart that seeks God and wants to learn more about him you're a threat Okay, I'm going to make a video tomorrow talking about what God showed me about satanic agents. But for this one's going to be demons. Guys, you got to understand what these demons, what they do is all to drain your energy. You must be wise, okay? A lot of y'all in relationships and the, and the demons are using your girlfriend, your boyfriend, um, your family members. It's sad because the Bible says to honor your father and mother, but those demons could also use your father and mother. But even in the midst of that, you want to have respect for them. That is what God says, honor your father and mother. So you don't want to go out and call them devils and stuff like that. That's just not, that's not a form of honoring them. Okay. Um, yes, the devil can use them. The devil can use anybody, anybody who's willingly uh, walking in darkness. Okay. So I, I highly recommend you guys to not feed into it. Okay. I know it's hard. You know, you got to understand that you're not arguing back and forth with the person I always tell you guys this, you're arguing back and forth with the demon inside them, okay? The demon inside them, want, and see, the more you react, see, back when I was a fool, I used to go back and forth with them, and I used to, and eventually, I, I just feel drained, and that's what the demon wanted. They, they, that's what the demon wanted the whole time. They want you to feel drained, and now they're harvesting your energy, and now, and now, now, now they're surviving off the energy you gave them because you decided to go back and forth with them. You know, let's say, like, you, you are telling people about, God in the Bible and stuff like that. And then you have the atheist and then you have the unbeliever, okay? Just going back and forth and all you're doing, and you're giving him the scriptures, you, you know, you're showing him proof, but the Bible says you're not supposed to cast your pearls on the swine. It also says that um, even the fool says in his heart, there is no God, okay? So it also says that uh, when you answer a fool according to his own folly, you will become like one. So when you go back and forth with the fool, according to the Bible, you're, you're a fool just like them. So you don't want to be simple-minded, okay? And uh, I just got got back from the gym, so yes, I'm sweating. So my phone just said 20%. But yeah, um, you guys got to understand what these demons do. You got to be smart. You got to be smart, guys. I see a lot of people fall into what, the, what these demons do, drain your energy, okay? Like I said, I had a friend who gave his life to God, and he's getting attacked. I see it. They gain attack on social media, diss videos, you know, all that type of stuff. And I just told him, like, you got to expect it, bro. Whenever you give your life to God, the demons are going to use whoever they can. But like I always tell you guys, the good thing in the midst of that, you're leveling up. Because okay? you can't get to the next level in life unless unless a demon or a devil try to pull you back down. Crab in a bucket society. That's the world we live in, guys. A crab in a bucket society. Every time someone's rising up, leveling up, okay, doing the right thing in life, there's always going to be a devil. There's always going to be a demon. Try to pull you back down. See, one thing these demons do, they have no love in their heart. Whatever the whatever spirit is possessing the vessel, no love in this heart. They can never say nothing nothing positive about you, nothing good about you. It's always trying to tear you down. And see, them tearing you down is a form of energy. Okay, it's a form of energy, guys. I'm telling you. And you guys got to start praying for wisdom. You guys are start, start having the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit gives you discernment, knowing when to walk away, knowing who to help. 
Okay, like I, like I said before, you know, you should never underestimate a power of planting the seed in somebody, but also you should always understand that not everyone is meant to understand the message. I have certain certain videos that I have that it's not meant for everybody. Okay, maybe this video is not meant for everybody either. Okay, so you gotta understand that just because it's not meant for them doesn't mean that you gotta go back and forth, try to force a message on someone. You don't wanna be doing that. And like I said, it's unfortunate, but you know, the demons can use, you know, your own family. They could use your own loved ones. And that's the tricky part because it's using someone who you love and care about the most. See, Satan is smart. Okay, that's why the Bible says to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, okay? The same was he used, you know, he used, even though the wisdom he used was, you know, demonic to, to deceive Eve, okay? He understands that, he knows, Satan knows that when, when he uses a demon to attack you, he's not going to use some random stranger. He's going to use someone that you, you, who, who you gave your energy to, who you love, someone who was once a brother, you know, someone who was once a sister, a friend, a bae, bro, you know? He's going to use those type of people, the people you got a connection to, the people you, you, you know, you attach yourself with, uh, you, you hung out with them every day. Y'all also chill every day, whatever y'all also do, right? He's going to use those people to hurt you, to betray you. He's not going to use some random stranger on the street. No, because when he uses the people who you love, the people who you care about, the people who you once had a connection with, that hurts different. The people on the street, the people you don't know, random strangers on the internet doesn't affect you. But the people who you know personally, you know, the people who like you talk to on the phone and, you know, you told him, you know, that's why you should be very careful about, you know, who you give your business to. OK, uh, you talk to him on the phone and you know, you're telling him your faults because, guys, we all have faults. We all we're all struggling with something. We all have, you know, our past mistakes that we know we talk about. Yeah, I used to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Right. These demons, they're going to use that against you all to drain your energy, all to assassinate your character. So you guys got to be wise and understand that the devil is using people and God is using you. So as God's using you, Bible says that when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his, his enemies be at peace with him. And, you know, there's a book called 48 Laws of Power. And people use that book to try to gain war, uh, rage war against their enemies and stuff like that. And let me tell you guys, do not read that book. If you guys want to rage war and win against your enemies, you keep God's Ten Commandments, okay? You can read it in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 7, okay? God says that, I think it's verse 7. God says that, um, you know, you will have power over your enemies. You'll rule over your enemies. All your enemies that come against you, God will destroy. And I see it, guys. And see, this is this is a true protection. This is what they don't teach us in church. Now, of course, protection could be the Holy Spirit. It could be angels fearing God. The Bible says that a man who fears God will have angels around him. So it's not only the Ten Commandments, okay? But that is one thing that you could get protection by keeping God's commandments. That's not what Mark the Messenger says. Like I said, I told you guys to read it over and over again. It's in the book of, um, I'm probably saying this wrong, Dumonetry. Someone left in the comments. I have, my, my speech is not the best and my grammar is not the best, but you see God chooses the fools of this world to confound the wise, okay? God, that's why God chose me to be wise because I was a foolish man of the world. Um, you know, I'm still learning stuff like that, whatever. But anyways, you could read that chapter. Y'all know what, what chapter I'm talking about. And it talks about how you could wage war against your enemies. So when these demons are using people, understand, guys, understand. Do not, do not go back and forth with them. You know, me being a teacher, I'm making a, making a video talking about the Bible. There's always someone going against the Bible. Like I was talking about how, you know, the Jesus cross that people wear is a graven image. And people were saying, um, yeah, some girls saying, oh, no, Mark, uh, this is what I use for protection. Okay, like you're using the physical object for protection, even though the Bible says that our weapons of our warfare and our carnal, okay, our protection is by the Holy Spirit. Okay, it's not by, it's not by a physical object, you know, like what the heck? People, but that's carnal, carnal. And see, I could go back and forth to that person to inform them like, no, no, you know, in, in love too, not in like, I'm trying to out, you know, because some people feel some type of way when you try to correct them, but in love, like I'm truly trying to help them. Like, no, you don't have to do that, sis, you know, but the demons and her is going to get mad and then, you know, you know cast her stone at, at, at me, even though I'm just trying to help them. So always understand this, guys. Never go back and forth. The whole goal of, the, of these demons is to drain you of your energy. Now you don't have the energy to do the will of God. Now you don't have the energy. Like when these agents came, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to make my video on that. When these agents came to try to, you know, pray against my soul, try to drain me, right? And, you know, let's say the mission passed, right? Now I went back into smoking. Now I went back to my old ways because my energy was drained. I didn't have the energy. Okay, that's what the, they're like energy vampires. They suck your blood. Just like a mosquito sucks your blood. These energy vampires, these demons, they suck your energy out of you, bro. You know, you got to protect your soul. Don't be so quick, guys, to be friends with people, guys. Don't be so quick to tell everyone your business. No, that's not wise to do that. Okay, you got to keep your circle small. 
you know, have people who, who, who have, you know, the same program as you. Okay, because I'm telling you all how you're telling everyone your business. It's not it's not wise, man. That's that's the foolish thing to do. Okay. Always understand that these people, these demons, the tares, the children of the wicked one, they're gonna be used to persecute you, man. They're gonna be used to tear you down, or at least to try to, because you know, the chosen, the God's chosen, we we won't get tearing down. They could try all they can. They could do everything in their power they can, but understand that you're protected. You know, we don't need the tarot cards. We don't need the, the crystals. Those are all physical objects. And that's all linked to witchcraft, especially the tarot cards. We don't need the horoscopes. We don't need that, bro. That's carnal, you know. How could we fight a spiritual war with carnal stuff? You look like a fool. So we got to fight these, you know, these demons in the, in the spiritual realm with the word of God, with prayer and fasting, with spirit, you know, with spiritual stuff, okay? The Holy Spirit. So I hope you guys learned from this video. Understand this. When these demons are attacking you, when they're slandering you, ca casting their stones, Okay, understand that their whole goal is to get you to react. Their whole goal is to get your attention. Don't even give it your attention. Just keep it moving. Keep it pushing. Keep leveling up in life. Because like I told you guys, new levels, new, le new devils. Love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.